Well guys, I'm trying to figure out something <laughs> since quite some time and I think oh, we need to redo some stuff. There's a bug in Unreal Engine in this version, so <laughs> mm. that's so confusing in our team we call this the Achim flag. <laughs> so if Achim do something very weird and what is going on now is the following normally if we introduce a new function here i want to call something like this save health object location rotation and if you check this call and editor flag basically and compile you should see a button here so it does not work and i don't know why <laughs> this happens but it's super weird so what we sadly we need to redo stuff here so hopefully you don't have this issue and can avoid this step but let's let's do it here and i didn't want to recreate the videos so that you know what you can do if you have something like this <laughs> and get it working so the following needs to be done we rename our health object editor and we create a new grouping class click here not not the ones i use to so editor utilities and then editor utility blueprint this will not work but the blueprint class this will work and we search for editor utility actor and call it pp underscore health object editor basically the same which we are not allowed to why so i think we can also try to fix up redirectors and folder so basically it will save us the map which i don't want i don't want to save the map okay let's save the map <laughs> if it works i don't care mm. and then maybe hopefully it should work that we can rename the stuff here No, we cannot. So let's close the editor. Maybe then it works. I don't know. Something is really messed up now. Yes, we want to replace stuff. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> okay, cancel. Then we don't save the map <laughs> and open the editor again. So many Achim flags. Sorry, guys, but. It's kind of life what we are doing here, so everything can go wrong and we are developing quite a complex yeah, utility, which will help us if we can get it working. So can we now rename stuff? <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe let's take care about the name later. <laughs> And we need to migrate stuff. So where's the blueprint? Where's the blueprint? So this one. Oh, it's on my other screen. So many issues today. <laughs> so how can we migrate stuff? So if we go into construction script, we uh it's not it's uh, it's it's not a fun <laughs> not a fun task to be honest and we open the full editor here why does it move there i want to have it here so we remove all of the stuff and we need the component posable mesh component that once we created in c plus plus and extended it and we need to introduce the scene component So and this is called health object. So and if I remember it correctly, we can also move variables around. Yes, control C, control V, then you can move variables around, but it loses the section. It loses the section. It's private. So and the export stuff, let's see if we cannot no, we cannot select multiple ones. Here we say not private, it's export. 
So hopefully we can get it working again. <laughs> so yeah, control C, control V. Sadly, if th there is no refactoring tools, if you ever found something for blueprints, please let me know. <laughs> it's so annoying. In, in, in a good IDE or so, like Visual Studio, you have a lot of functions to do this. That seems not to be the case for blueprints yet. So we also need to migrate this stuff here. Sadly, it loses the sections. That's very annoying. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it is to develop a life. So you might have some issues all the time. Please, Epic improves it, please. So, and what my friend said is if you have functions, migrate this as well. Like here, control C, control V. So what does it do for us? I want to, some function references could not be resolved. Oh, oh that's so pain, that's so painful. <laughs> you need to copy them one by one. And hopefully it does everything right. So let's see if it works. So these are in the private section. Oh, it still loses the categories. Please, epic improve, please. <laughs> so annoying. So um spawn held object yes so it should be here everything should be here so and if you have a bigger screen that's also a lot more convenient so get bone transform that's the one we called it before our special function mm. Do we also have this? Yes, that's already there. So we need we need this one. Apply pause. Random sequence. So hopefully it does not mess up anything for us. <laughs> we will see how this goes. Oh, so painful. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five, and that's the latest one I wanted to code. But we still need the construction script stuff, which we did not copy it over yet. So hopefully we can also make this work again. Oh, let, let's make it full screen. Where is the construction script pin? So connect everything, compile, save. So now the interesting question is, does it work for us or not? <laughs> so let's see, where is the editor? Oh, come on, where is the editor? Oh, it's here. Oh, it's so annoying. So now we have our new utility. And if we press Control E, we can edit again and introduce a new function. Say save. Held object location rotation and we check the call in editor flag and magically hopefully here is our button so it works <laughs> and this one we created before it doesn't work <laughs> oh that's that, that's a really annoying bug but yeah that's how it is so we move this into the expert section and I will also show you how we can reparent reparent stuff so that we can throw away our old implementation and say goodbye to this weird bug. Um, there we go into our base and go into class settings. And here we search for held object editor. Reparent. Successfully reparented. Save. So now if you click here, we have here our button. Yeah, thanks Epic. <laughs> That's weird. So don't use don't use right click editor utilities. You cannot expose the buttons. That's a very weird issue. I hope you <laughs> still like the session. Uh, it's it's yeah, 
it's a very painful task to get stuff working here but yeah that's how it is and we are still happy that we are very close to a solution where we can edit our gun bone directly in the editor so see you